Dan Webster is on our Newsmakers line with us. He is running in that uh, Florida district against Alan Grayson. Needs your help. Grayson's going to spend millions of dollars in lobbyist money to smear Daniel Webster. And uh, Daniel's on our Newsmakers line with us. Daniel, good to have you with us. Hey, good to be on. It's it's a good thing to run for political office these days because you find out the most interesting things about yourself. You were you were an anti-American draft dodger, and now you're part of the Taliban. Yes. Uh, well... You know, I think, and if you pick the first commercial, which you didn't talk about, that one was proved uh, by uh, other uh, non-partial um, people as being false. The one about the draft dodgers, the Annenberg uh, Public Policy Center for the University of Pennsylvania and Ivy League School, they ha- they do, uh, I think it's called factcheck.org, and they came to the conclusion, their conclusion was it is false, and it's one of the nastiest we've seen so far. Yeah, the bottom line is you, you had deferments when you were in high school. Yeah, let's let the kid finish high school before he gets drafted. Um, high school and college deferments, and then after your deferments came to an end, as millions of Americans enjoyed during the Vietnam War, you showed up uh, for your for your draft notice, and they turned you down because you failed the physical. Yes, uh, I had some prob- I was born with some problems with my feet. Uh, I had to go through some therapy that my mom, who was a nurse, learned how to do, and she tried that uh, when I was about eight or nine, ten years old. And then, and then I had corrective shoes, which were steel-plated shoes, but that made it worse. Uh, and never got it. It just never worked out. And so when I, I but you know, I still. I, I was drafted. I had a low uh, lottery number. I showed up in Orlando, which is where I'm from, and rode a bus to Jacksonville, Florida, went to the physical. They're the ones that pulled me out of the line and said, um, look, we can't take you because your feet are crooked and there is a problem with them and there's no way you could be uh, a cert, you know, you could serve in the military. Now, but this is a big deal because Alan Grayson, as everybody knows, served uh, with, with great distinguishment in, in the Vietnam War, won the, at least two Congressional Medals of Honor and, and three or four bronze stars. He was a war hero, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he was on a swift boat or something. Yeah, yeah. Did Alan Grayson even serve in the military? No, he never signed up. He never uh, went for a physical. He never did anything, nothing. He's never, as a matter of fact, he's he's been against the military. He's been against our presence in Afghanistan. Um, so, you know, he, he is um, a fraud, and that was pointed out, not by me, but by people who are independent public policy groups that are, in a, in a sense, a little bit left to center. Are military veterans stepping up for you in the uh, in the Florida? This is in the Orlando area for folks that may not uh, recognize it. I mean, Alan Grayson's on the national news show, dispensing the most vile and despicable rhetoric all the time. And uh, you know, hopefully, the veterans in that area are standing up for you. They have, and and actually, the veterans group that was a part of the commercial in that he, he had done a public forum. They had showed up. They used the pictures. They they called the ad uh, um, despicable. Can't think of a better word that ties to Alan Grayson. Uh, Dan Webster with us. Uh, Dan, hang on just a second. We're going to talk more about this race and how we can help Dan win against easily the most despicable congressman in Washington, Alan Grayson. We'll give you a chance to help. We'll uh, air that ad that we were just talking about a moment ago and let you hear more from Daniel Webster running for Congress in Florida. This is the Steve Gill Show. Yeah, that's the Alan Grayson attack ad on Republican Daniel Webster. Uh, Daniel Webster running for Congress down in the uh, Orlando, Florida area. Needs your help. If you'll go to his website, electwebster.com, electwebster.com, you can get involved in that race and uh, help defeat one of the most despicable Democrats in Congress, Alan Grayson. He's the guy that said, yeah, the Republicans have a plan for health care. Just die, among other things. Uh, Just vile stuff comes out of this guy's mouth all the time. And uh, he's uh, attacking Daniel Webster on the uh, most outrageous issues, including one uh, trying to tie him to the Taliban. Daniel Webster on our Newsmakers line with us today. By the way, speaking of the Taliban, the uh, CIA has stepped up drone attacks in Pakistan amid uh, heightened threats uh, of terror in Europe and here in the United States. There are heightened concerns by the CIA and other agencies that the uh, um, Islamic jihadists around the world may be plotting an October surprise to try and sway uh, the U.S. election and uh, maybe, I guess, add some help to, to Barack Obama. You know, a big terror attack. People will flock to the president and his side. Maybe, maybe it's the Taliban, al-Qaeda, trying to, to help the one. In, in any event, there are, there are concerns that a, a terror attack may be looming in October 
with an October surprise. Dan, thanks again for hanging on with us again. The website, electwebster.com. Um, we, we just aired that Taliban-connected uh, ad that, uh, that claims that somehow you're connected to the Taliban. Isn't it interesting that these folks fear Christian conservatives but don't have any problem with the more vile Sharia-promoting Islamists in our midst? Well, it is amazing that um, he picked out, uh, you know, certain things out of a. You know, it's funny the the, the words that I said there that are, you can hear. Uh, she should submit to me. That was said in, at the Cornerstone Church that was just advertised on your program yeah. uh, in Nashville, and and it was at a conference I think last year. And actually, I said the opposite. They picked out one half of the sentence. What I said was, if you're praying for your wife. Don't pick the verse, she should submit to me. You should, you should instead worry about your responsibilities. And so what I said was, don't pick the verse that says she should submit to me. They just picked out she should submit to me and then submit to me, submit to me, submit to me. It's kind of like me picking out die quickly, his, his whole thing, and, and attribute it to the Democrat health plan. Just say die quickly, die quickly, die quickly. You know, it, it's absolutely a lie. Yeah. Now, will, will this be exposed? I mean, this Annenberg group that you were, you mentioned, the factcheck.org, are, are they going to expose that literally this guy take takes a quote entirely out of context? Is, has the local media there in Orlando uh, played fair and, and attacked Grayson for this despicable, disgusting lie? Yes. Uh, we had quite a few radio, uh, radio uh, appearances, and yesterday it was on, I think, two or three, four maybe TV appearances, a couple more today. Uh, so, yes, it, it's being taken on. You know, it's not like he's got millions of dollars. He's playing it every day, and, and, and yet at least the, the news media is saying, you know, this is a bad thing and give me a chance to say my story. Even when it's been pointed out that it's a lie and it's a despicable distortion, he's still running it because he has the money from all the Washington, D.C. lobbyist insiders to, to fund his campaign. Right. Well, he, he's a great Internet fundraiser, uh, similar to Howard Dean. You know, he sends out these bombs that are way to the left. He caught, you know, he says my opponent is the part of the Taliban and, and then people uh, to the left in the party give, give lots of money to him. I would think his side would, would love the Taliban. And they he's seem to be doing everything they the, can to help them. Yeah. And he's also one of the wealthiest congressmen and he, he definitely has used his own money in the past. Too. Made his money as a trial lawyer, by the way, something he doesn't mention in his, uh, in his ads. Uh, you, by the way, became the first Republican Republican House Speaker in over a century in the in the state of Florida. I mean, basically, you help lead a Republican resurgence in Florida that has c- continued on and carried on. Are, are are you seeing? I mean, poll numbers is this race within reach? It is. Uh, a matter of fact, we're leading. And and I think the point is that people are tired of the policies. That's what we've tried to focus on. We're borrowing four billion dollars a day. We have an economy in the tank. In our congressional district, the unemployment is above 12 percent, double digits, way above even the national average. And so it, it's those are the problems. And the pr- fact is, I've told people, plus he's voted with Nancy Pelosi 98 percent of the time. So if you want to if you want to keep the economy in the tank, if you want to keep borrowing more money than we could ever repay, and if you want to have Nancy Pelosi speaker again, he's the guy. But but if you were serious about giving Congress a message, uh, then I'm the person they ought to vote for. When you look at at kind of the election landscape, this is one of those races that hasn't received the kind of national attention that some of the other races have. I mean, this is one of those times where you mean the the Democrats are are going into the wind. You've got a guy like Grayson who, as you point out, typifies everything that's wrong with the Democrats in Congress. Are folks in Orlando figuring it out? Yes. We have an awesome ground team, 700 people going door to door, and we hear it every day. As we're going door to door, as we're knocking on doors, we've done all, over 30,000 homes so far. Our goal is 70,000, and people um, are just embarrassed by the guy. Are you getting much feedback about the Taliban ad? I mean, people vote, oh, you're the guy that's for the Taliban. It's well, it's been positive. <laughs> <laughs> people have said it's over the top. It's way beyond. Uh, even my wife, who stays within her comfort zone, of a, uh, uh, said she was insulted on TV yesterday because if I'm part of the Taliban, what does that make her? 
and it's insulted not only her but our whole family. Well, again, particularly when you've got Alan Grayson, who's not been willing to speak out against the Ground Zero Mosque, has not been one of those guys who's really been forceful in speaking out against the, the al-Qaeda, Taliban, Islamic jihadism that uh, that is spreading around the world. He's been AWOL on that issue, and then to, to try and smear you makes it even more despicable. Well, I think the real point is this. If you had his record... And if I had his record, I wouldn't want to run on it either. <laughs> he's got to find something else to run on. And so I guess he's going to de- he's decided to trash me. But but if I but if I had his record, I'd run from it too. He's not exactly bringing in Pelosi and Obama to the district, is he? I mean, is he uh, is he going as far as we heard that ad you heard? Darrell Pomeroy is now hugging up to George Bush and and talking about how closely he works with Republicans. Uh, Grayson, at least I guess, isn't isn't going that far. No, he hasn't gone that far. But he hasn't taken uh, any credit for anything that's happened in Washington. You know, like voting for the stimulus, voting for Obamacare. I mean, all these guys are running away from their own issues. Yes, they are, for sure. And I don't blame them. G- because us- there's zero issues. They're, they're going to get them defeated, and I'm sure they're wanting to run away from it as fast as they can. Go to Dan's website, by the way, electwebster.com. Uh, yeah, again, Alan Grayson's pulling in money from all over the country. A little help to Daniel Webster uh, may spell the difference in that race, help balance things out a little bit. He's a family man, a small business owner, a, a Christian, a conservative who has done the job in the legislature in Florida and will do a great job for us in, in Congress as well, electwebster.com. Dan, you've been watching politics, involved in politics in Florida for a long time. Give us just a quick synopsis of what you think is happening statewide. We've been watching that Marco Rubio, Ken, Kendrick Meeks, uh, Charlie Crist race. How is that one shaping out, and and will that have any impact on your race? Are there coattails, or, or are you looking for coattails in that race? Well, I think one thing uh, Marco turns out... Marco may get coattails from you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sort of a, a double. <laughs> yeah. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll help each other. I'm, I'm sure we will. Uh, I think Marco is a guy that's going to win. I, I believe that's going to happen. It's kind of an odd thing to have an incumbent governor switch parties, run as an independent, have, have an current congressman run and, and, and Marco, who's not even in office right now, uh, all of that is sort of an unknown, but I, I believe Marco wins. Is the Tea Party having an impact on your race or, or in the Florida political scene? They are, and they're very much supportive of me, and I think they're they're very active in the political scene. They have, they have uh, they're, they're planning a a thousand person march through District Eight, which is a congressional district I represent, uh, in two weeks on a Saturday. A thousand people going door to door, talking about the issues that are at hand, the ones we've talked about, which are, you know, uh, borrowing too much money, the economy in the tank, and all those things. All the issues that people are talking about all over the country, and we need a lot of winners to help turn the tide in Washington. And uh, Daniel Webster would certainly be one of those guys. ElectWebster.com is the website. Uh, it's It's a twofer. You get to elect a great guy to Congress and remove one of the most despicable guys in Congress, and Alan Grayson. You get a double... A double dose of reality. Daniel, good to have you with us. Good luck, and uh, keep us posted on the race. Thanks a lot, Steve. We'll be back in a moment with more of the Steve Gill Show, 800-688-9522. Your calls and comments are next. 